Oh, that view is incredible. Hello, folks! My name is Navigator, like always, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this week's update for Fallout 76. I am very excited to share it with you guys. All right. I told you in yesterday's video that this week was going to be action-packed, and it is just that. So what we're going to do is we'll take a look at the Atomic Shop, we'll take a look at the new challenges, and we'll also take a look at some of the uh, Burning Love uh, event things, and we'll get into that later in the video. I do want to make it clear, I, uh, I, I kind of started filming this, and I didn't really like the whole setup that I had. So I did claim something in the Atomic Shop, but I will show it off to you later, and we'll kind of touch on it when that time comes. So in saying that, let's go take a look at what we've got. What do we have? What do we have? And I've, well, I've already seen it, but you all haven't. Actually, you probably have, because DTD posted. Yeah, what am I saying here? Here we go. This is the Atomic Shop for this week, and it's okay. It is okay. Not the worst that I've seen. Uh, some highlights. The Pittsburgh Palace is back, and that is a pretty decent prefab. Uh, we'll also go into the bundles, take a look at those. But the new Heartbreaker Power Armor is pretty cool. I will admit, it is pretty cool, but that is going to be the redeeming thing from all of the items here. That and the uh, Tick Plushie. So... Let me show those off to you guys. You can pause the video, go check it out, whatever. I mean, you can just hop on the game yourself and go look. But the Tick plushie is pretty cool. Uh, the bushes in here are nice as well. Bushes are a great camp item for, like, hiding stuff and kind of making it look more lived in. Love those a lot. And the rest of this bundle is just kind of garbage, in my opinion. The new power armor is really cool. Not exactly a fan of the color. I mean, purple is my favorite color, though. Wait. Not that this is purple. What I'm trying to say is, like, I'm not not a fan of purple and pink. I just think that they may have, uh... Okay. The power armor itself looks awesome. I love how it looks. It is super sweet. Love, like, the, the helmet and all that. I just feel like they could have saved that for, uh, maybe a more Fallout-friendly one instead of having hot pink all over it. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see one down the line. But yeah, there you go. Heartbreaker power armor is pretty cool. And I'm sure there's some uh, power armor aficionados out there like Wastelord who may be picking that up. So let's move on. The bundles I wanted to talk about are going to be the Brotherhood Scouting Bundle and the Brotherhood Field Station Bundle. Those are two really great prefabs, especially the Scouting Bundle. I would totally suggest going and picking that up if you do have the atoms for it. Uh, nothing in Fallout first yet, but we are uh, kind of on the precipice of getting our February items, so hopefully that'll be next week, if not early. Well, it'll probably be next week. Apparel, aside from the Motor Up Molly outfit, which I could care less about, there's nothing going on there. In skins, we did get a free skin to start off the Burning Love event, and I will show that off right after this, and then we'll take a look at the challenges. Camp, nothing going on, styles, blah, 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 and the free item for today was like a lollipop or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. Let's take a look at that skin, though. Let's go see what flamers I have in my stash box, because at this time, I don't really even know. So stash boxes here. We'll throw that down, and let's go to my weapons here. What do I have? What do I have? It's got to be a flamer. There it is. What is it? Cleansing Flame old New Vegas reference, and we'll hop over here to the workbench. I'm going to throw this skin on. Where is it? I have the fire hazard. Yeah, there we go. The hot rod pink paint. We'll throw it back into my Pip-Boy, and I can show this off. Where is it? Cleansing Flame. There you go. So this is the uh, free skin that you get in the Atomic Shop today, and I talked about it in my video. Uh, what was it? Yeah, the good and the bad news video that I had recently. I like this skin a lot. I actually might just keep it on here. Uh, but yeah, it just looks so cool. I love the the flames on there, the pink flames. And then it's got like FI-13, something like that. I think it's maybe like fire or something like that. I have no idea, but it looks cool. I really do like this skin, and it is even better that it's free. So there you go. And uh, let's take a look at the challenges, see what we have going on on that front this week. We'll go to challenges. Here are today's daily challenges. You can guys, or excuse me, you guys can just pause the video and check it out. But for the weekly challenges, claim a workshop, easy. Complete a mutated public event, not as easy, although they do happen fairly frequently. Craft ballistic ammo, incredibly easy. Drink Nuka-Cola, go to Nuka World on tour. And just go buy them, and then maybe look up, uh, maybe go to the, uh, what is it, the the, the Vault Tech University kid who's obsessed with Nuka-Cola, he's got a bunch of them there, uh, complete any mission in the pit while on a team, you gotta do that twice, I don't understand why these aren't for Atlantic City yet, I'm probably just gonna re-roll this if I'm being honest, and let's just do it now, I'll see what we get, but make it for Atlantic City, it just doesn't make any sense, kill a glowing creature, that's easy, oh, well, it's only for me, really, but kill a mutated enemy, go do a daily op, you'll have that done in a second, kill a trog, I'm re-rolling that as well, because hell no, I'm not touching any trogs, 
K9, that's easy. Repair weapons or power armor, that's incredibly easy. Just I don't, I don't even know. You guys can figure that out. And scrap junk to produce aluminum. I would go to like Camden Park and go to the or uh, Wavy Willards and go to where the like the arcade area is. And there should be some aluminum cans behind the uh, like the BB gun games. You guys know what it is. But I did want to say. Before we get off the challenges, I want to do something new, and I will pin it in the comments below, but if you guys have any tips uh, for how to complete these daily or weekly challenges, please, please leave them in the comments below. Not only I, but other people were kind of uh, responding, saying, hey, you know, there was some really good information in those comments. Help me complete those challenges. And for me, I mean, I was sitting here looking at my own comments, trying to figure out how to complete some of the weekly challenges for last week, so please keep doing that. It helps out not just me, uh, but a lot of other players there in the community. And if you're not seeing this in the video, I will pin it in the comments below, and hopefully somebody will give you guys some other tips. So there you go. All right, last thing that I want to check out before we wrap this video up is going to be the event. And let's see. All right, so daily challenges. Uh, One of them has to be for the burning love thing, right? Weekly. Oh, okay. <sighs> I'm going to preface this by saying the way that challenges used to be is you would log in every day and do a different challenge and then you'd eventually complete it. But it seems like now you just can complete them whenever you want to and that's about it. And this one, I was planning on making videos every day talking about it, but obviously I can't. And on top of that, these are super simple. Kill a gulper with the pink flamer. Kill a fanatic. Kill a feral ghoul. Mirelurk, overgrown. Obviously you have to do like, what is it? 10, 15, 30, 10, yeah, you guys get the drill, but yeah, I, I don't know, so what I'll end up doing is I'm just going to complete all of them, and I will do a final review video of uh, all of the rewards, so there you go, folks, that is all that I have for you in today's video, let me know what you think, and please, please, if you have any advice or tips on how to complete this week's weekly challenges, please let me and other players know in the comments down below. I am working on a new camp, as you guys can see. Not sure what to call it. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I'm trying to use the new, uh, what is it, like, weekend getaway mansion. I forget what this thing is called. And I put a wall around it out here in the crayon bog. And we're just going to see where it goes from there. So expect a new camp tour, one that hasn't been released in a while, very, very soon. So there you go, folks. That is all that I have for you in this video. As always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.